Wow Embossing Powder Week on the Paper Crafters Library blog. Every day during the week of May 21st to the 25th, 2012, we'll be sharing different project ideas featuring Wow's amazing embossing powders and embossing glitters. At the end of the week, two lucky winners will receive an amazing Wow Embossing Powder prize pack, and we'll share more details at the end of this video. In today's video, we're going to show you how to create this super cute tone on tone baby card. It is enhanced beautifully with WOW's Nice Ice Blue Embossing Glitter as well as their Primary Ebony Regular Embossing Powder to create your stamped greeting. So let's get started. You're going to need a 5.5 by 8.5 inch piece of Bashful Blue cardstock. I've scored it down the center at 4 and a quarter with my scoring blade and paper cutter. Before we crease this, we are actually going to start our embellishment for the front of the card. So you're going to need two of Spellbinder's Edge Abilities. And my first one is this beautiful Edge Ability, which is found in the Classic def Decorative Inserts 3 Edge Ability. And you're going to lay this along the one edge of your card base and I'm just centering this along the sides so that I get an equal cut with my die. So I'm laying that down and I want to cut off about maybe just over a quarter of an inch, three-eighths of an inch off the one edge of my card end here. So I'm using my grid paper to make sure that I'm cutting off an equal amount. I'm aligning the um, die with my grid lines on my cardstock. Then I'm going to use a couple of pieces of my matte finish repositionable tape to hold the die in place. So once you have that in place, we're going to run this through the grand caliber, die cutting the one edge of our card base. So now I'm back from the grand caliber, and I'm just going to remove my die carefully from my cardstock. Gently pull up the tape, and I'm going to use the same two pieces in a moment on a second die. So you can set those aside to be used in a moment. And you may notice when you die cut one of the Grand Caliber edge abilities that sometimes the small little delicate pieces don't always pop out. I like to use a end of my scissors or you could use tweezers just to help pop those out. So you're going to do that popping out each die cut element. So now that you've punched out all of the decorative element, it just didn't seem right to leave it like that. So I'm going to use one of Spellbinder's Edge Abilities, a second one here, and align it in each of that design. And this is from the Classic Brackets, and this cuts a beautiful straight edge instead of just a decoration. So you're just going to align it with your decorative border here, making sure that each piece is in the scalloped side here and you're just going to die cut a section from that and I'm just using the same pieces of my repositionable tape that I had my first edge ability stuck down with and I'm just going to now run this one through my grand caliper die cutting the bottom edge of my card base here. So now I'm back from the grand caliper and I'm going to remove my die carefully, pulling up that repositionable tape, and you can see that now I have die cut that beautiful scalloped edge, removing one small section from my card base, and leaving this beautiful decorative border. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to fold my card base, creasing along that fold line with my bone folder, and now I've created this gorgeous side, or bottom in my case, to my card base. 
So now that you have that, our next step is to add this beautiful embellishment behind my scalloped and die cut section using some of WOW's embossing glitter. And here I'm going to use no, uh, nice ice blue embossing glitter, which coordinated very well with my cardstock. You could do this one of two ways. Here I'm going to use this one inch thick red liner tape and you could embellish this card the way I'm going to and if you do not have the one inch thick um, red liner tape then you could always die cut a one inch wide strip of bashful blue cardstock and emboss it using uh, Versamark ink as well as your embossing powder. So I'm just going to take my red liner tape and I want to make sure that I do not have it showing along the front. So I want it just um, about a quarter of an inch up from my card base at the back. So I'm just opening up my card, having my scallop to the one side, and I'm going to take and stick my red liner tape just above that quarter of an inch. And I'm going to run it along this section of the bottom of my card. And then you're going to take your snips and trim off using the edge of your cardstock as your guide where to cut the red liner tape off. This side already has it aligned with the edge. So now I'm just going to press the red liner tape and I want to make sure that it's as smooth as possible. Once you have that against your card, you can peel up the backing from your red liner tape and then you're going to sprinkle your nice ice blue embossing powder directly over top of that red liner tape and this is the adhesive that's going to hold this into place and you're going to tap off any excess embossing glitter into your coffee filter. Like I stated before, I always like to work over a coffee filter because once I'm finished, I can just easily pour my embossing powder or glitter back into my container and I have no wastage. So I'm going to set that aside. I will need it later, but now I want to set this. So you're just going to heat your red liner tape with your embossing glitter over top so that you can set your embossing powder to the inside of your card base. So once you've heated your embossing glitter on your red liner tape, you're left with this beautiful shimmery strip on the inside, which enhances the inside of your greeting card. But when you close your card, you will have the glitter shine through that die cut border. So that adds a beautiful accent to any one of your cards. So now I'm going to show you how I'm going to embellish the card um, front here in the remainder of the card, um, enhancing this beautiful decorative embossed glitter that I have on the inside of my card shining through on the front.